Suella Braverman is leading calls for reforming the 1951 Refugee Convention. In a keynote address in Washington, the Home Secretary will expose the main reasons why world leaders will not tackle illegal migration, including negotiation struggles and racism fears. World leaders are failing to tackle illegal migration because they are scared of being branded, racist or illiberal, Suella Braverman has warned. The Home Secretary, leading calls for reforming the 1951 Refugee Convention, warned countries the crisis will only get worse unless radical steps are taken to restore national borders. Millions of people are being incentivized to try their luck by the global asylum system, Mrs. Braverman declared, despite Western governments knowing full well they cannot help more than a fraction of new arrivals. Mrs. Braverman said in a keynote address in Washington, so why has the international community, so far, collectively failed to explore any serious reform of the global asylum framework? I think there are two main reasons. The first is simply that it is very hard to renegotiate these instruments. If you think getting 27 EU member states to agree is difficult, try getting agreement at the UN. The second is much more cynical. The fear of being branded a racist or a liberal. Any attempt to reform the Refugee Convention will see you smeared as anti-refugee. Similar epithets are hurled at anyone who suggests reform of the ECHR or its court in Strasbourg. I reject that notion that a country cannot be expected to respect human rights if it is not signed up to an international human rights organization. Failing to clamp down on illegal migration could fuel the rise of the far right because voters no longer have confidence in Western governments, she said. Multiculturalism has failed in Europe and threatens social cohesion in the nation state, the Home Secretary has said. Migration to Europe over the past 25 years has been too quick, with too little thought given to integration and the impact on social cohesion. And Mrs. Braverman said new homes, schools, roads and hospitals cannot be magicked out of thin air to cope with ever-increasing populations. She admitted, uncontrolled immigration, inadequate integration, and the misguided dogma of multiculturalism have proven a toxic combination for Europe over the last few decades. The Home Secretary told delegates at the American Enterprise Institute, if people are not able to settle in our countries and start to think of themselves as British, American, French, or German, then something is going badly wrong. National identity is not something invented in an ivory tower or by advertising executives. The nation state has endured because it means something real to almost all of us. And that is true the world over. Given how much it matters, it must be protected. Saying so does not make one anti immigrant nor does it mean that you're anti-immigration. Mrs. Braverman also spoke for the first time about channel migrants being linked to crime in the UK. She said, UK police chiefs have warned me of heightened levels of criminality connected to some small boat arrivals, particularly in relation to drug crime, exploitation, and prostitution. People who choose to come across the channel illegally from another safe country have already shown contempt for our laws. President Macron claimed that illegal migrants or those waiting for a residence permit accounted for more than half of crime in Paris. More than 24,000 migrants have crossed the English Channel so far this year, after a record 45,755 arrived last year. It has overwhelmed Britain's broken asylum system, costing taxpayers £8 million per day in migrant hotel bills.